Nin Bin. Out of all the places we have been to, Nin Bin is definitely one of the places that stands out as the most spectacular and beautiful. Considered as one of the centers of Buddhism and Christianity in Vietnam, Nin Bin is surrounded by temples, pagodas, spectacular lakes, rivers, caves, rice paddy fields, huge limestone formations and national parks. There is so much to do here. We were spoiled for choice with our one day trip and most definitely we will have to go back to see the other things that it has to offer. In fact, the amount of great footage I got in one day was enough to make five or six full videos on it. Nain Bain is located to the south of the northern delta between the Red and Ma rivers. It is south of Hanoi about 90 kilometers and it takes about 2.5 hours on a bus or train to get there. Around 1 hour and 45 minutes in a car if the traffic is good. It is bordered by Hao Bin and Ha Nam to the north, Nam Din to the northeast and Thao Hao to the south and west. As well as this, Nin Bin's topography is divided clearly into three parts, the mountainous area in the west and northwest, the delta and coastal areas in the east and south. As a result, Nin Bin offers many kinds of tours to suit almost every traveller's needs. We paid 2 million for a car for the day, and the driver was awesome. He took us to a bunch of different locations and even recommended local places to go for lunch and dinner. I would recommend getting a car for the day trip, as it saves getting from place to place if time is limited, but if you're going there for a few days, then you can hire bikes or motorbikes or even a tour guide when you get there. Guys, we're in beautiful Bai Din Pagoda near Ning Bing. Out for a day trip, hired a car for two million, it's not too bad. Gonna to explore, look around, it's a misty day. You can see the mountains in the back there. Misty, but nice. It's a bit hot as well. So yeah, keep an eye out for anything cool. I'll keep you guys posted. Our first stop of the day was to visit Bai Din Pagoda. This is Southeast Asia's largest Buddhist complex, which consists of several temples and over 500 beautifully carved statues of Buddha, including one that's made of bronze and is 10 meters in height. The pagoda complex attracts huge crowds of local devotees and travelers looking to pay their respects and have their fortunes told by the resident monks. One of the main pagodas there is located on the slopes of Din Mountain, which is accessible via a 300 step stairway. This is a quiet shrine and has a main prayer hall and natural caves where the locals pray to Buddha and the mountain spirits. You can also enjoy many different events and activities that will take place at certain times of the year. For example, on the sixth day of Lunar New Year, the temple hosts a vibrant spring festival, usually between February and March. There are ritual processions, blessing ceremonies, traditional music and dance performances. You can also watch or even take part in traditional folk games, including tug of war, wrestling, as well as this sample authentic local snacks and food stalls throughout. The next stop after a bite to eat was to go and see the famous Trang An King Kong set boat ride. The Trang An region consists of a system of limestone caves, hills, historic sites of cultural heritage and natural heritage and was recognized by UNESCO in 2014 as a World Cultural and Natural Heritage Site in Vietnam. This was something I was wholeheartedly looking forward to 
as the scenery was amazing and I loved boating and caves so it was right up my alley. And the fact that this was where they filmed King Kong was an added bonus. It did not disappoint either. We were lucky as we went there at quite a quiet time relatively and you could see how many spare boats that they had and although there were many people there, it was not crowded which enabled us to enjoy our own quiet moments of scenic beauty. The boat cost us 700,000 Vietnam Dong per person for the ticket and there was a choice of a 2 hour tour, 3 hour tour or 3 and a half hour tour. Since we were pushed for time we took the 2 hour tour. Actually. After two hours, we were ready to be done with it, as the boat was quite small and sitting anywhere on wood for two hours gets a little uncomfortable. Despite this, the experience was great and it's one I would definitely recommend to anyone who is travelling in this area. To end the day, as we took a lot longer at each of these places than we expected, we headed to grab some local goat. There are goat restaurants all over the place and it's definitely a local speciality so if you're feeling up for it, give it a try. It's a lot like mutton and I felt it had a nice chewy and rich texture. We got some goat and lemongrass and some grilled goat with vegetables. Both were delicious and they were not too expensive. After this we headed home. This was a great day and I will be looking forward to going back there soon as there are huge amounts of things to see and do that we didn't have the chance to. That's all for this video though. Thank you very much. Subscribe, like, tell me what you think below and take care. Bye now.